What's good, everybody? It's KJO Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with some settlement survival, and last time we left off, we were doing some expansion. Making sure we got our defenses up, we need to build uh, more homes, so we filled up a free area for it. We got a storage house to make accessibility for our marketplace workers, um, so they don't have to travel so far. We're waiting to see if we get enough brick in order to trade with that merchant there. Um, but he only has 59 days left, so I don't think we're going to get that. Preparing for this immigrant event, because um, we need to get people out of these apartments. And then we are also preparing for the Wild Beast event. Um, with that being said, I think we can go ahead and get rid of this tower. This one as well. We might want to build a builder's cabin over here. But I think we'll hold off on that for the minute. Uh, we have quite a few things queued up to build. Clothing's full. Lamp oil is full at a thousand. So let's go ahead and start getting some lanterns. We'll only build 200 for now. Um, because I noticed last time we were going through our fat pretty quickly. Um... Our few laborers that we have left can go ahead and gather some plants for us. Food and water, doing phenomenal. Timber, plenty of. You have a merchant ship. Uh, you have donkey. Can be raised in corrals, which we don't have yet. Um, the rest of it's just food and then cattle we already own. Uh, we don't have enough silver for the donkeys anyways, uh, so let's just go ahead and send him out of here. We do have alpaca cubs over here. Um, but if we close off this area, I'm not sure if they can slip in through the gaps to go around, but I'm wondering if this area is no longer accessible to us. 32 citizens want new homes. We're building six currently. Uh, might have to think about getting a chapel and clinic over here. Uh, but let's just go ahead and speed things up for the moment. Wait for these buildings to get built. For basic res uh, resources, I think we're pretty set on them. I don't think we need to worry about too much else. Uh, let's go ahead and swap this over to clay. Stan's looking pretty good. Uh, this squad can just go over here. We have these three members over here. We're getting six reservists trained up. And then our caravan has about 160 days left. Uh, two people died from old age. Two people graduated from school. Our houses are getting finished. I think things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good. We're getting a few people out of the apartments. Go ahead and build a few more houses. We'll get three more going. New tech point. We're sitting on three right now. We just spent quite a few on trade. To get the reputation increase. Um, but I think we can go ahead and 10 times speed it for a little bit. Walls are getting built up. 30 citizens still want new housing. Uh, we have nine people in the apartment still. 
which I don't think 15 slots is enough. I think the immigrant number is sitting at about 16 or 17. As time goes on, uh, how many immigrants come in uh, per wave increases. Uh, we'll do clothing for cold weather. We got some more down jackets. And we weren't even through all the ones prior. So we're going to get a nice stockpile of those. Uh, which we destroyed the watchtowers. Now the only problem with building watchtowers way out here is it's going to take a while for our people to man them. So we might have to rely on our troops in this area. Which means it's going to be more and more important to get more troops. Uh, so they can cover more ground. Candace died of old age. Still have five laborers left. A merchant ship is coming onto the timeline. All of our walls are built. Um, 16. I'd like to get 17 or 18 slots free if possible. 32 citizens still want new houses. That number's going up. Now it's up to 33. Uh, that should be good though. 17 slots. I'm happy with that. Uh, we still have five openings in the schools, so we don't need any more of those currently. Uh, what is the range of the clinic? Cuts off here and the chapel's over here. So probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get clinic and chapel over here. Uh, let's do clinic on left and chapel on the right. Why are you guys coming way over here? That's interesting. 17 immigrants. Doesn't look like they have any diseases, which is great news. Should have just enough slots in the apartments for them. And now we are up to 22 labors. Um, so let's get a few more houses going. Get the clinic and chapel built. We'll go ahead and store some more water over here. Increase this to 800. Fertility rates down to 73%. Um, we do have quite a few workers at this point. Uh, advanced smithy, we can actually start making traps, ovens, and bell towers once we unlock the research for it. Which is used to upgrade some of our buildings. Uh, we're getting close to needing to upgrade the quarry. It's only at 1%. This mine is at 8%. Even the coal's kind of going quickly. The new one's at 91. I don't really think there's anything else we need in the area at the moment. Um, I mean, we might as well put another repairman in because we have quite a few buildings just in case they can't keep up with it. Brachyitis, you are a smelter. This needs upgraded. Let's do that right away. Smelter. Uh, this person. So if we take you off, that doesn't put you there. Uh, what if we put you here? That works. And we'll take you off so you can rest. Uh, Beast event is still a little bit away.
Let's go ahead and remove some of these mountains here. And then we should be able to fit another farm. Kinda would like to fit another compost plant, uh, but we won't do that just yet. Textile mill. To put you over here, which means we'd have to put the flax farm over here. I don't think we need any of our processing stuff. Don't need any resources. Agriculture, I think we're good. How are we doing on fish? Not the greatest. So we could get another dot going. I don't know if having the same zone affects it. Uh, let's just go right here. We'll go right there with it. We're full on planks. Uh, logistics. Don't really need anything. Services. I'll just get a builder's cabin for now. Um, our caravan returned. Let's get a builder's cabin over here. Um, don't really need any of that stuff. I think it's time we start doing some research. Uh, let's just go on a big gathering spree. Keep all these laborers busy. Uh, we'll definitely get eight more people there, form a caravan. Renia is at 94 out of 300. We have 12 more tiers. It's gonna be about a thousand on its own. Water, we'll just go 250. Uh, timber we can go 250. No, we can't. 100? Uh, we'll pay for insurance and send out 12 people. That's going to be another 1,500 silver for us. A lot of our stuff is full. Um, we're full on baskets. So let's get you making... Rope, uh, and we'll make sure that you only use reed because we don't want to use up our flax. Stock up on 500 of those. Uh, that's just now getting rebuilt. Steel is maxed out. Might need to think about getting more storage here soon. Let's go ahead and speed things back up. Uh, the mill we're gonna need to put over by our pastures. It's actually our hunter's hut that is getting our tears, which is pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and build a third hunter's hut. Just right there, because I think we're going to go ahead and replace this hunter's hut with a mill. Start getting that going. Um, we should have... Not the most amount of oats left over, but we're going to get a harvest here pretty soon. Uh, 
Uh, people still just dying from old age. Oh, you were making costumes. Uh, so let's put you back on rough clothes. And then... We'll unlock the police station, and then the theater. Police station we're not gonna worry about, but this will increase happiness. Probably want to put you towards the center. Um... So let's get more knitting workshops going. Uh, you are in processing. Knitting workshops. You guys can go in this area. And then we'll have our basket and shoe production over there. Um, because you guys can store them here. Yes, backpack and shoes. Um, could just upgrade you real quick. How are we on cut stone? 204. Uh, because if we can just put reed here... Since that's all we're really using in terms of raw materials. I wish you could put a limit, like hold 500 reed. I don't want all of our reed to go here, but not needing reed for these knitting workshops. Paper doesn't use reed. Do we have anything else that uses reed? I don't think so. But maybe it'll work out fine to add Reed in this warehouse. Got another tech point, which is great news. Uh, you guys are not using paper. Make sure all of our research institutes are using paper. We have 895, so production is keeping up there. Alright, you guys off of the hunter's hut and work here, and we'll put the mill in the middle there, and we'll destroy these buildings here soon. Alrighty, you'll be making our baskets, two people in there, two people in here, you'll be making our shoes. Go ahead and destroy this building as well. And then once those get destroyed, uh, two people with tracheitis, you are a smelter. Smelter working where? You're a fisherman. I'm not going to worry about changing you. Smelter, you make iron for us. Uh, let's just put you in here for now, add a second person there, and then allow you to rest. Five people working in the quarry. Uh, that's just the police station. Is it agriculture? Probably processing. No. Did we unlock the mill? We did not. Let's get that going. We can also get a water mill, but we're probably not going to put any pastures near the water. There we go. Um... We'll go right here and then we can also get the theater in 
And that covers a good amount of our houses, a good amount of our production and raw material gathering. So that should benefit quite a few people. Health is sitting at 88. Um, happiness is at 69. So this boost should definitely help out. Uh, we're running pretty low on shoes. How are we doing on rope? I always forget what rope falls under. Textiles. We're actually running low on linen. Uh, so we might need to think about getting a flax farm. So, let's just do that, shall we? Uh, we usually do 8x10. Uh, 90% for this trainee, and we can get another spearman formation. This one still has 8 to 8. This is down to 2. Uh, the cremation operator slipped on a banana peel. They'll have 18 laborers, though. We're about to get another animal plague. One of two types, one to two types of animals will be infected. Each type of animal will infect one pasture. Animal plagues are contagious and have an incubation period. Herdsmen will also be infected. That's obviously not good for us. Um, so we can make flour or malt. Now we know we can use malt to make whiskey. Um, flour we don't have anything for yet, but that would probably be used in the bread shop. Process flour and sugar or butter or jam into bread. So that's probably how we're going to get our ceremonial bread. Now this is going to consume costumes, which we don't have a lot of and we're not producing. I don't know where costumes can be found. Household goods? Yes. We're running very low on shoes and baskets, but happiness has now exceeded the 80% mark, so work efficiency is increased by 10%. That's great news. We need to figure out how we can combat the animal plagues. Because if we're going to keep losing animals, like we lost our alpacas, uh, we can't be having that. Can't be having that. 19 people still in the apartments. Uh, let's get some more housing built. Other than that, all resources are doing pretty well. Uh, we actually probably used quite a bit of our linen for the costumes. So that would make sense. We've used all, or we've made all the lanterns that we need. Our mine is at 3%, 87, and 98. So we'll have to upgrade our iron mine here pretty soon. And then we shouldn't have to worry about it for a little bit. Um, you guys are done training. Let's get a formation. And then we'll limit you to four for the time being. So we don't lose all of our labors and spend all of our money. Um, and let's see where these beasts decide to attack us. All right, new formation made. Yes, we will put you over in this direction. You still have eight, you still have two. Uh, if you guys could keep moving over here. 
don't know why you stopped. Why are you guys like stuck? Alright, beasts are intruding. Where are they coming from? Down south. Uh, we got some troops ready for that. I don't think we'll worry about our towers this time. You guys being stuck is really annoying, actually. If you guys could get moving, that'd be awesome. What are we up against? A bear and a tiger again. Okay. Like, why are you guys bugging out? Go around. Uh, we are freeing up some spots in the apartments, which is great news. Uh, this inventory is almost basically full from water. Uh, you guys seem like you're coming more left. Let's just get ready for that. We should have 18 troops with us. 18 should be Lenny to take on these beasts. The thing is, is we want them to attack our buildings first rather than our troops. I'd much rather lose buildings than citizens. Yeah, so like if we were, there's no way to force them to attack a target. Of course you guys are wonking out. Uh, you guys are all spread up. All right, we're doing damage to the tiger. We haven't lost anybody. We've destroyed one beast. You guys need to keep moving in. It does look like we lost a formation. Two spearmen were killed. Uh, you guys, since you're wonking out, And just stop right here and maybe you'll be close enough to aggro. You're gonna go after these spearmen. Like attack, attack, what are you doing? Attack. Or is he just running off? We have two full formations. Attack! All right, he's attacking back. We just lost two. Lost three. We lost four. Oh boy. We lost five. All right, you guys can go back towards the center. Now, I'm only seeing one flag. Uh, the other one's over here. Keep you over here. The beasts have been destroyed. Um, it was certainly tough. Again, I don't know why we can't just give them attack orders. Left click on flat. I don't know what that means. Or why it says it like that. Um, pathfinding for the troops is also absolutely horrible. Combat definitely needs some adjustments in this game. For sure. It's unacceptable. We need more control over our troops. They need attack targets so that you can target what you want them to go do. They need better pathfinding and you need to be able to force workers give them like if you have to force a worker to stay into a watchtower give them like a happiness uh debuff like make some punishment for it since they're not in the mood to work but they still do the job especially uh back in episode four i think it was when we had somebody in the watchtower take off like a thousand health from a tiger 
and then just go rest. Like, at least finish the beast off first so he stops doing the damage. Oh, Houston came to visit, like always. Say hi to everybody, Houston. And you gotta get down, buddy. You can come up here later. Alrighty, 13 slots left in our apartments. We might get another apartment going uh, in this new area that we've made. Animal Plague is making me nervous, but there's only so much we can do. You are full on malt, so let's upgrade you to 500. And then we'll start making some flour and just stock up on it for now. We have a decent amount of oats. You need to make flax. Um, with our flax all the way up here, though, it's kind of going to be a pain unless we put our textile mill up here. Just logistic-wise, that's not going to be the greatest. But we'll fix that up later on. Because I'd like to get a water textile mill, but obviously all of our water is in this area and flax is way over here. Now if we get a transfer station, can we limit what goes into the transfer station? Yes, we can. Um, so we could just get a transfer station for our flax. Uh, but we'll worry about that later. Let's stock up on some flax for a little bit, and then we'll worry about our textile mill. We're actually full on beer. We never want that to be the case. How's coffee doing? Uh, we're, it's doing pretty well. I don't know if these overlap. So like, if we have a theater in an area... Does that apply an additional bonus to our chapel? Or... No. Nah. Is that not how that works? Like, is there a point in having this theater right next to this chapel? Or do we need to move that? Alright, three troops in this formation. Eight in this one. Um... You could start getting steel tools. Steel is just using iron and refined fuel. Uh, let's get some steel tools for now, and then we'll max you out at 200 for the time being. Thirty-six citizens want new housing. We'll just zoom in for a little bit, see what our colonists are up to on this side of town. And to wait for events to unfold. Caravan is about to come back. And we still have 12 laborers. Yes, it is not ideal, but let's just go ahead and get a textile water mill down. If we can fit it anywhere. I just have to put it over here for the time being. Um, yeah, it's definitely not going to be efficient being on the opposite side of town of the flax. But for right now, we're just going to leave it. We're just going to let it be. We have 6,000 peas stocked up. Doing well on the food front. The only thing we're running low on is oats because we're using it for the beer and for the malt. Uh, so we're actually using quite a few oats.
Caravan returned to town. We're nearly up to 12,000 silver. We're only on our second trainee getting trained up. Uh, is there anything we want to sell at the moment? Probably some of this water again. Rania is at 110. So if we sell 300 water just to get it out of our inventory. Again, prices are going down because we've already sold quite a bit. 200 wood. Oh, we can't. Sell 100 wood. Send or sell 10 tiers. And then we can sell 250 feathers. That's going to be. Oh, no. We need 190 feathers. It's going to be about 2300 in profits let's send another 12 people that's gonna leave us 19 to work with keep on gathering plants and then just kind of wait for this to get done uh we can fill up these builder slots and let's fill up the fishermen what else have we built recently the mill has no problem putting in that work. Uh, so let's go flower and max you out at 500. But we don't need a third worker there. At least not until we start using the flower and malt. People still passing due to old age. That's fine. It's just a part of life. Uh, this mine is done for, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. Two, three people just graduated with an excellent academic record. We'd love to see it. Baskets and shoes are struggling. Uh, we are having Reed transported here. How are we doing on cut stone? We have enough. Increase your inventory. You can make linen for us. We'll max you out at 750 for the time being and we'll put a second person in. Um, fishing nets, what are you under? I don't believe we have any. Where would I find fishing nets? We have 43. A quaint old box made of seemingly quality materials has drifted over here down the river. No one knows if the box contains opportunity or danger. The settlement needs your wisdom to make a decision. Send someone down to salvage it? Uses 10 fishing nets. The fishermen strove hard to salvage the box. Some raw materials have been attained, but the risk of accidents for fishermen was also increased. Ah, uh, we just got cocoa beans from that. Boo! Family's happiness dropped for no place to bury the dead. There is no tombstone. Why are you guys not cremating? Um, what's going on there? Policies. Yeah, you guys should be cremating. Why is that an issue? Houston, you need to relax, dude. This guy. But yeah, that's um that's a little confusing. Cause like this one didn't have a problem. Is it like a preference? Our happiness dropped drastically.
Um, they are still making spear bandits, but it's up to level 6 now. Uh, we have plenty of money. We'll just go ahead and max you out at 8 for the time being. You might even start thinking about a second barracks. We just need to make sure we're having a steady flow of income. Why is all of our water coming here? That makes it more difficult for these areas to get water. Plus we want other items stocked here, like we don't just want water. You guys really don't have any water. Yeah, all of our water is basically in this storage right here. Which really isn't so ideal for us. Who are these people? All students? Are you guys like going on a field trip? What's happening? We're not getting that message anymore. That was weird. I wonder if it just bugged out for a little bit. Uh, food's getting down to 6700. We are about to have another harvest though. Alright, let's speed things back up. Happiness is going back up, which is great news. How's Reed doing? Uh, that's gonna be over here. 2400? How are we doing on the ropes? I always forget where those are at. Three forty-five. Let's swap you back over to straw shoes for the time being. The sh is it shoes or baskets? Shoes help with happiness. Uh, so let's increase our shoe output for a little bit. We need gears for efficiency, and we need ink and paper to get more employees in a certain workshop. We do have a merchant ship. Uh, maintenance of tools, the durability of iron tools plus 20%. It's not that huge. We'll get some building kits so we can upgrade our buildings. Pumpkin heads. Interesting. Um, I'm assuming pumpkin heads would count as clothing. Cause there's no like helmet option, so it'd have to be clothing. Alright, Houston. Time for you to get down, buddy. Um, but regardless, we're just gonna pass on that opportunity for right now. Uh, we're out of oats. I wish there was a way to be like, no. Don't eat oats. Um, I don't think there is. Yeah, production. I don't think it's doing too hot. For linen. But for the moment, we're just kind of stocking up on linen. We don't need it to produce anything. Uh, 
Um, research. We have three points available. Don't have anything to make building kits yet. We need the forge. Bathhouses. We need soap. I believe. Uh, let's start getting these palaces of justices. So that way we can start uh, doing some edicts. Palace of Justice, uh, you could be just out of the way, honestly. We don't need you near anything. Um, but for right now, we'll just put you back here. Then we'll start being able to get some edicts. Could start getting silver mining, and then we can make our own money. Shield camp. We have beer going, steel, and cut stone. There's smoke rising from the forest, and soon people can confirm that it is a fire. Since it is not big yet, should we put out the fire first or cut down surrounding trees to stop it from spreading? Cut down the surrounding trees. Citizens successfully stopped the fire from spreading and almost caught some animals trying to escape from the fire. Oh, they also did. 436 leather. Nice. I think we made the right choice there. This squad has two left. Um, you still have a full 18. We definitely need to get some more troops here soon. We also need to start thinking about more storage. It's only going to be a 1x5. Can't even fit anything in there. Um, where are we going to put more storage? We get a small warehouse here. All of these are already upgraded. I mean, we could get more workers in here. Uh, that way our market is holding more inventory slots. Hopefully we can buy some corn soon so we can get fodder and then that'll increase the output of a majority of items we receive from our pastures. We have a potential natural disaster coming. Gather more plants. Melter died of old age. Palace of Justice is getting built. Kinda need more XP output. It might be time to start getting uh, printing factories and research academies. Let's do it. We're pulling the trigger. Uh, how is coal doing? We have 609. Um, we won't upgrade that building quite yet. We're going to want to put you... Um, where do we want to put you? Because being close to the coal mine won't matter since that stuff's getting transferred towards the center anyways. Kinda just running out of space over here in general. Uh, Palace of Justice is done. We have a thousand edict coins to work through. Uh, so these are kind of the options. 
Dirt and Stone Road, Hunter's Hut and Gather's Hut output increased by 60%. Forester's Hut extra output increases by 1. Apiary output increases by 20. The production cycle of the mine, senior mine, and open mine reduces by one day. The growth rate of proficiency level increases by 25%. Latrine effect range expanded. Uh, not too worried about that. Tech points generated from educational type structures increases by 200%. Uh, the grassland radius of the mill increases by 2. The radius of the compost plant's fertile soil range increases by 2. Um, we'll get additional tech points from educational type structures, which should be the schools. Yeah, it's up to 90 now. Um, we'll also get the radius of compost plants. Um, you do have one oak. Maybe we'll get the mill first. I mean, we could get both of them. The ripening time of fruits decreases by 50%. We don't really have any fruit going. We only have 400 left over. How do we unlock more? Building deep mine or open mine? One star in logistics. The marketplace effect range expanded by 20%. Storage capacities of cellar, storage center, and mountain warehouses. Chance of mega merchant ships arriving. The pandemic flu can be healed through time. The healing time of common diseases decreases by 80%. Okay. Uh, let's get the mill for now, and then we'll also get the compost plant. Is it working? Did it kick in? I don't think so. I mean, maybe it did? I don't know. I don't know if that picked in yet or not. Oh well, we got to check that out. There are definitely some good upgrades, especially further down the line when we get more things unlocked. L livability is level 2 proficiency already. Max vitality and max stamina plus 20%. Logistics is getting there. Warehouse max storage plus 15% per level. And then citizens movement speed plus 10. That'll be nice. Uh, the stone cutter. We'll go ahead and take you off. Let you rest for a little bit. Alright, one tech point left. We still need to figure out where we're putting, uh, this printing factory, don't we? We got distracted. I mean, you need timber... And you need water. I guess we could just put you here now. 
Because timber is being stored up here. Water is being stored here. Uh, let's build some more houses first. And then we'll build the printing factory. Right here. Three people have tracheitis. Our blacksmith. Oops. Um, stone cutter. You're our other one. Uh, there's somewhere else we can put you just for now. In the quarry? Yes. Then we'll allow you to rest. Uh, we're training up our fifth reservist at the moment. You still have two. You still have eight. We have a total of ten troops. Planks are doing okay. Uh, bricks are full. Let's max you out at 750. Or... Still need some more clay, so we'll keep working on that. No need to switch you over at the time. And then we'll get some paper going here. And once we get some paper production going here, we'll go ahead and upgrade this one. Caravan has about 50 days left. We're full on malt and flour. Tofu. We have soybeans, we just haven't unlocked the recipe for it. Animal plague broke out. Can we just slaughter all these animals? Maybe that'll work. One of our citizens has the animal plague. Do we have what we need to take care of that? Uh, this is cholera. Uh, Skin-borne disease, measles, saliva-borne, tuberculosis, and airborne, the flu. Animal plague. Foot and mouth disease. I don't know what kind of disease that is, though. Um... I don't know if it's skinborn, but we'll go ahead and spend a point there just to improve, accelerate the treatment of it. I don't want to spend all my tech points at the moment. It's taking us a little bit longer uh, to earn levels. I'm hoping if we slaughter all of them except for one, we'll be able to control it. Now we need to put some people in here though to help. And pray that it doesn't spread to other pens. Uh, losing our cattle is going to be tough. No, that's all of them with it. No, it's not. Uh, we have zero in it though. Does that mean we lost that animal? Please tell me we didn't. No! No! We lost our cattle. Oh man, that's horrible news. Them animal plagues are tough. We need to figure out how to get those under control. Four of our people have the plague now. Uh, let's get you on paper. 
Let's upgrade you. And we'll probably get you on ink. And we'll probably have to build the third one and start making books. Um, processing. What did we unlock? Oh, the soap workshop. That's gonna use fat blubber and beeswax. Um, we could get another apiary and start getting some beeswax. Resources, apiary. Um... We'll put you over here. Get some beeswax going. Um, was it processing? Yes, soap workshop. You definitely need to free up some spacing in the center. Need to reorganize here soon. Uh, soap workshop. We will put you by the school for now. And then bath warehouse or the bathhouse we are going to just hold off on for a little bit. So we can get some soap stocked up. And then we'll decide where we want to go with that. But before we go any further, we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. As we are approaching the hour mark. I think things are going pretty well. We've stabilized food, stabilized water. All of our raw materials in terms of timber, stone, iron. Our fuel's doing pretty well. While we're looking at it, let's get another person in medicinal powder because we are running a bit low on that. Um, might need to build some more research institutes or just end up upgrading them through the academy. Because we can get academies, they take brick planks and steel um but we might need to build another kiln factory uh, so we can make glass and brick at the same time then we also might need another sand pit so we can get clay and sand at the same time also might need another fuel factory so we'll start thinking about that i do think that that's going to come with some reorganizing of the town so we might have to take some hits on some of our resources for a little bit just so we can get things nice and neat and then improve all of our efficiencies. Um, so we might hurt for a little to get the gain. As always, I appreciate y'all for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, peace out y'all.